32 ounce jar of Rayo's marinara, one pound of cooked ground beef. Just cook this up. One onion, roughly chopped. Now I'm just gonna add in two large tablespoons of garlic. Yummy. Now I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. You know what, we're gonna do it this way. Perfect. One teaspoon of parsley flakes. This one doesn't have the side you open. There we go, we'll flake this all around here. All right, we're gonna use some crushed red pepper, about a teaspoon of this too. We like it spicy, but of course you don't have to add this if you want it to be a little milder. I'm gonna put in just a pinch of salt here, maybe about a teaspoon. And of course some black pepper, just do this to taste. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of my tomato paste. Do y'all ever buy tomato paste in the can? Why is this invention so much better? You can save it. You don't have to use the whole can at one time. Y'all, love it. And now I've got a container of beef broth here. I am using the low sodium because I want this to be a little bit healthier if you, if you can call it that. This is a 32 ounce container and I'm just going to use all of that in here. All right, now we're going to give this a good mix. This is a super easy dinner for the weeknight. You know, if you don't eat right away when you come home from work, you could even make this after work. It doesn't take too much time. Very tasty. This is a big hit in our house and our family. I think you guys are going to love it too. Alrighty, I'm just putting my lid onto my crock pot here and I'm gonna set this on high for two hours. Okay, we've had this on high for two hours. It smells really, really good. It smells amazing. I wish you could smell it at home. This is just, <laughs> it's like an authentic Italian dinner. Okay, so I have got some oven ready lasagna noodles. I am just gonna start, oh, maybe not four at a time, but I'm gonna break these up into pieces, kind of, I'm gonna leave some in bigger pieces, maybe even because these ones are an odd shape, like just leave, break them in half. And we're gonna be adding these to this mixture in here. We're kind of creating a lasagna soup. And this was so easy. It's perfect for the cold weather we're having these days. All right, y'all, I'm just kind of mixing and matching with the lasagna noodles I have. You know, the easy thing about this is I think you probably got all these uh, ingredients at home or in your pantry. So this is super easy to make. All right, I'm just gonna have this on high for about 30 more minutes until those noodles soften up. All right, y'all, it's been 30 minutes. Our noodles are done. This is so easy. Oh, and I can tell this is gonna be so delicious. Look at these noodles, perfectly cooked. Our lasagna soup. Ooh, hearty, warm, perfect for the winter. All right, now I'm gonna put a little bit of six cheese Italian blend onto my soup here. Obviously, some people don't like cheese, some people avoid dairy. You can do this however you prefer. I cannot wait to grab a bite here. I'm gonna try and just cut this noodle with my spoon a little tiny bit. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all, this lasagna soup, so easy, so good. You gotta try it.